Floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, wildfires. Everything can change in an instant when emergencies strike. I'm Ness Murby. I'm a Paralympian, I'm blind, I'm a disaster survivor, and I'm your host for this video series that is your guide to prepare and plan for natural emergencies in Canada. This is your AMI Emergency Series. Earthquakes and tsunamis. While scientists can forecast earthquake probabilities, they can't predict the exact time or location of earthquakes or tsunamis. If these disasters are relevant in your areas, it's important you know what to do prior to the emergency. Of course, this is true for everyone, but it's especially important for those who are blind or partially sighted and can't depend on seeing the sudden dangers when disaster strikes. Before an earthquake, the first step will be to develop an evacuation plan. You may hear alerts through public address systems, on radio or TV, or through social media. This information will continually be updated, so be sure to listen carefully. If evacuation is ordered, you should be prepared in a few ways. Know your route, how to get to the stairs and exit your building. Keep sturdy shoes, a spare cane, and a grab-and-go bag ready for a quick evacuation. Check out our grab-and-go video later in this series for everything you should have prepared. Once you're outside, you may find the streets are filled with debris. That means that the risk of tripping and falling can be high. Hard toe shoes and perhaps a sturdy helmet can help keep you safe. And practice your emergency plan with your family and your service animal. Run through it regularly to see if you can reduce the time needed to get through your evacuation. Know your utility cutoffs and keep a wrench taped to the utility cutoffs that require a tool to be shut off. Make sure your furniture and decor such as pitchers are anchored in place. Falling items can be dangerous. During an earthquake, the moment an earthquake strikes, you should drop, cover, and hold. Drop, drop under heavy furniture like a table or bed. Stay away from doorways, windows, and tall furniture. Take your service animal with you so they are also protected. Cover, cover your head and neck and curl up to prevent being hit by falling objects. Hold, hold under steady furniture so that you move with it if you're close to it. If you use a wheelchair or walker, lock it in place, get out of it if possible, and take cover as best you can. After an earthquake. Stay where you are for several minutes after the earthquake is over, bracing yourself for aftershocks. The best solution is to sit tight until someone can arrive to assess your situation. If you're alone, ensure your plan includes someone from your emergency network coming to check in on you. If damage is extensive, wait for emergency professionals. Be sure to check your service animal for any injuries and communicate them to your emergency network. Your animal will be stressed and probably anxious from the earthquake, so try to keep them as calm as possible. If there are emergency workers nearby, let them know if the animal is hurt and needs care. Tsunami. On the coast, a quake can be followed by a tsunami or a landslide. As part of your evacuation plan, you'll need to know where to go to reach higher ground and practice how to get there in advance. Visit your city's website and check out their emergency plan to learn where you can find more information. Multiple tsunami waves can last multiple hours. The biggest wave is not always first, so stay on higher ground until given the all clear through official channels, either on the radio, TV, or through social media. If all plans fail and you cannot evacuate, place a help sign in the window for assistance. If you are remaining inside and can detect a smell of rotten eggs, there may be a gas leak. Open a window and avoid open flames like lighters, cigarettes, and candles. And it's a good idea to conserve food and water in case supplies are disrupted. Ensure your community is aware that you are blind or need assistance to evacuate or stay put in your home. Learn what to include in your grab-and-go kit and what essential documents to have ready for these unexpected disasters. Watch the complete AMI emergency series at ami.ca, on the AMI-TV app, and on the AMI YouTube channel.